Hi guys, Terry here. Hey, today I want to talk about the Alex drawers available from Ikea. Um, this is this one here is called the Alex drawer. And then this one over here is called the Alex drawer and casters. And I wanted you to see them side by side. The Alex drawer with casters is about uh, three inches shorter than the Alex drawers. And I'll have the dimensions and links to these on my blog post. But I did want you to see um, the Alex drawers with casters have just that. They have wheels on them, so you can wheel it around your room. Very handy. And then the Alex drawer comes in a couple different um, styles. Hershey, can you move, girl, girl? So the first drawer, this, this unit here, has a file drawer on the bottom. And then this one over here simply has the drawers. Um, and then... Ikea has uh, tabletops that go on top of the drawers, so it's got the, um, this for example is a, is a uh, very standard setup where you've got um, the Alex drawers holding up the one side of the table and then the legs on the other side, so that's a real common setup. It's nice, I could have had um, two drawers, um, this, these are um, 14 inches wide. I could have had two of them, but it would have made for a very small area for your legs to go under the desk. Um, so I opted for the legs on the end, and I like the open look of that. So I've got that one desk. I'll, I'll have the uh, dimensions of that desk on my website. But that one's, I think they're medium desk. And then over here I have the very long, this one's a very long desktop. And you can see it's sitting on top of um, the two Alex drawers. So I don't have any table legs on this one. It's just sitting on those drawers. And it's just laying on there. I don't have anything. Um, the table hasn't gone anywhere, so it's sitting on them uh, very nicely. And then I have a little wheelie tote over here with my um, project files in there just on that end of the table. Probably if I had this drawer all the way at the end of that table, I would want to put um, a table leg in the back there. To just for support on that um, tabletop. So their tabletops are inexpensive. They're a um, hollow core uh, piece of wood. So they're very light and they are very inexpensive. So let me show you my sewing setup on the other side of the room here. Okay, so here's my sewing setup. I have two of the Alex drawers on casters and um, like I said, I was surprised that they are a little bit shorter than a standard desktop height, but I like it because I can wheel them around and I can use that surface space there. So I thought about putting in a long table here for my sewing setup, and then these two drawers would wheel underneath that table nicely. So even with the casters, it would fit underneath a uh, standard tabletop. So and I think that if you got the long IKEA table and had it set up on um, the legs, then these caster units would wheel underneath them. And like I said, what's nice is you can pull those out and then have that that top surface. Here's something I found on the web. So these um, wide units, like I said, this is 26 and a half inches wide. Um, they hold a lot, and I like how narrow the uh, the, the drawers are not very tall. Um, so they're the perfect height for all of our um, crafting needs. Um, now what I did do is on the bottom two drawers, I have brackets here. So I, when I built the drawers, I did not put the bottom piece into this um, next to last drawer. So I didn't put that bottom board in so that I could pull out both drawers. I saw this hack on a video where... Um, you just put a bracket here and hold the two drawers together so that when they're open they both pull out and you just put the bottom in the the very bottom drawer there so works out great and this all holds you know it holds so much materials like here I've got my all my rulers here I've got my thread um, and then they also make an insert um, I've got one over here on the other side um, Ikea makes an insert so it's got these trays I think they're made for their closet system their closet drawers but these drawers um, 
these dividers fit into um, the Alex drawers really well. So you can have everything, um, you know, not rolling around the drawer. So depending on what you're putting in the drawer, you might want these dividers. So works out really well. So I highly recommend IKEA furniture. I think it's nicely built. It's nicely made. It's inexpensive. And you can um, have a lot of storage space in your craft area. So uh, love how this has worked out for my sewing area. And then I've got my computer table here set up with the two Alex drawers. And then I also just really like my setup with the desk and the uh, table legs. So if you're looking to set up something in your craft room, I just can't recommend the IKEA furniture enough. Um, I think it's for the cost and the storage space that you get, um, I highly recommend it. So I hope this helps. I'll have the dimensions and the links to the IKEA website on my blog post. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I appreciate you watching. Bye, guys.